Welcome to War Right, where we're alright. Today, I'm going to be going over the Daily Shop and Selvin in the Big Chad Guys Mod Pack 1.1.9. Starting off in the quest book, make sure you have ticked off coins, coins, coins to unlock this limb of quests. You'll begin by making the Daily Shop, which will allow you to get your first gold coin. You can click on the shop in the quest window to bring up the recipe for it. We will require three of any type of wool, two wooden fences of any type, and three planks of any type. Once created, and after you've redeemed your quest rewards, of course, place it down and right click it to bring up the daily shop menu. Afterwards, I recommend making the selling bin, which has three tiers, wooden, iron, and diamond, each tier giving you more space to sell more items within the bin. The regular bin requires five planks and one iron, the iron bin requires five iron in the bin, <laughs> and finally, the diamond bin requires five diamonds and our iron bin. We shall be using this uh, bin to make our diamond bin to get us our gold coin for the purposes of this video. An alternative method for getting coins besides the selling bin is from coin pouches. Coin pouches can be found as drops from mobs or in randomly generated chests in the world. And as a note, the pouches do not stack, but they do come in different tier values. The daily shop currently has 60 listings, raised from 40 as of 1.1.9. As you can see, we would like to purchase a candy cane, and we can try to place our gold coin into the slot, however this will not work as the daily shop will only accept exact change. To solve this, we may place our gold coin in our crafting grid and convert it into 4 silver coins, and these silver coins can be converted into copper coins if you wish to. You can convert these back by placing 4 coins in the 2x2 crafting grid, and they'll convert back to their highest form of currency. Placing our silver into the shop will allow us to purchase our delicious minty candy game. But how do we store our coins? Well, returning to the quest book shows us that we need to collect 999 copper coin stacks. These can be made by placing 8 of your preferred coin into a 3x3 crafting grid, and as you can see in this clip, the recipe doesn't need to be exact, and you can just create your own stack in any manner. This may then be placed on your Scrooge McDuck stack of coins, and you may find it more difficult the richer you get, but that is a sacrifice we'll just have to make. To reclaim your riches, just break the bottom stack and the coins shall raid down upon you, filling your pockets with that sweet sweet coin. Onto the selling bin. In your inventory when you hover your mouse over items, sometimes you will see an offer to sell a particular item for coins. As our example, we could sell 4 rotten flesh here for 1 copper coin. It also tells us if we can buy an item and will inform us of said price, such as with our priorly purchased candy cane. Since we don't have enough zombie meat, we'll use this stack of leather to sell for coins. We do this by placing the leather into the selling bin and waiting until night time. Afterwards, we'll then head to bed, preferably your own bed, for a good night's rest. Doing so will cause midnight in-game to pass, which is when the items will sell. Returning to the selling bin, we can see someone has come, taken our leather, and left us with 8 copper coins in return. Passing midnight will also cause the daily shop to refresh, giving us 60 new items to buy, as you can see. And before you try, you unfortunately cannot use a hopper to feed into your selling bin. So you have to find another way to turn your mob farm goodies into coins, or do it manually. If you figure out a way to automate this, let me know down in the comments or in my community discord link in the description. And if this video did help you in any way, please leave a like. That way I know to create more for you wonderful people. Hopefully, I'll see you for another video. Good luck out there. If you liked this video, consider subscribing, liking, or just let me know down in the comments. Any engagement is helpful, and I appreciate it. See you all in the next one.